Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are going to be talking about the 10 biggest mistakes that all new players make. Now this video is going to be mostly dedicated to the new players who downloaded Brawl Stars in the last year or so. Brawl Stars has become insanely popular as of late and I unfortunately keep seeing the same new players make the same old mistakes. So let's stop wasting time. Coming in at number one is you guys are upgrading the wrong brawlers. Now I understand everyone has favorite brawlers. I mean, so do I. Even on my mini, I upgrade brawlers that aren't so good ahead of the good brawlers just because I like them more. But you should also have your fair mix of very good brawlers in the current meta. And for that, it's very simple. You guys just have to watch one of the YouTubers who make meta tier lists. I have one on my channel for every single new meta. So if you guys ever want to check out what's currently good, I probably have a video that's a week or so old that you can always check out to see what brawler is good in the game right now. The second biggest mistake that every single new player makes is they don't know how to pass or use the ball in Brawl Ball. Tip number one is you can pass the ball to your teammates whenever you want and it helps you get goals faster and easier. Tip number two is you don't always have to shoot the ball in. Sometimes you can just walk it in with the full HP you have you don't always have to go for a long range shot. Number three, you could use your super to super kick the ball and make it go even faster and further. And four, you should just never give it to the other team. You should always make sure it's in your corner or with you at all times. Coming in at number three, we have not joining a club. It's really important that you don't play this game alone. It's a 3v3 game. Yes, I know there's showdown, but at the same time, it's a lot easier to play the game if you have friends to play with. Now, if you wanna play alone, sure. That's how some people wanna play the game but the game is a 3v3 game. There's even 5v5, and it is a lot easier to progress through the game if you have friends and teammates to play with. You can go broken team strategies on different maps if you have teammates. You could push brawlers that are only good on certain modes if you have teammates. And in general, it's just a lot more fun to play with people than to play alone, which also ties into tip number four, don't play only showdown. Now I get it, showdown is the most popular game mode, by a mile and listen it should be it's very easy to play alone it's very fun and you don't have to depend on bad randoms always throwing your games but all the best players in the game play way more 3v3 than they do showdown and eventually you're going to hit a certain trophy mark where you only face against good players so if you want to get better at the game you do have to play some 3v3 because there's just certain parts of the game that you're missing in showdown and it's really important that you play some team-based modes so you don't get hard stuck with your skill. Coming in at number five, do not buy skins with gems. Guys, there's bling and brawl passes for a reason. Like if you really, really want a skin and mom is giving you the credit card, fine. But if it's with your own money and you don't wanna to spend too much but you wanna actually progress your account, bling is the perfect way to get the skins that you want. Yes, there's some that you can't get and that kind of sucks, but you don't want to drop $20 on a skin if you can drop $20 on a hypercharge gadgets, levels, and star powers. If you buy the Brawl Pass, you also get skins plus a ton more value. It's just such a waste of money. If you're trying to progress your account to buy skins, it's just not what you should be doing with your gems. Do not buy skins with gems. Coming in at number six, it's just not knowing the current meta. Now I know I kind of said this in number two when I said upgrading the wrong brawlers, but I think they're two totally different things. Upgrading the wrong brawlers is just upgrading bad brawlers, but not knowing the current meta means you don't know what brawlers to play on what modes. You don't know what brawlers are easy to win with compared to what's hard. And this makes a really big difference when it comes to pushing trophies. Again though, I make tier list videos basically every month about what brawlers are good and what brawlers are bad. So if you ever wanna know what's good and what's bad, you can just check out my channel and there's always gonna be a video there. Coming in at number seven, we have upgrading only one class of brawlers. Now I get it. Some of you are sniper mains, some of you are tank mains, some of you are thrower mains. And of course, unfortunately, some of you are Edgar mains. But if you wanna be able to push a lot of trophies and play on a lot of different maps, you want to have different classes of brawler upgraded. Me personally, I really like snipers. But if I only had snipers, then I'd only really be playing knockout and bounty and long range gem grab maps. But if you have some throwers leveled up, some snipers leveled up, some tanks leveled up, and some assassins leveled up, you could basically play on any map all day. You'll also get better at different brawlers and that's really important so you don't hit a wall and just stop being able to gain. Coming in at number eight, and this is actually a really big one, this is buying useless gadgets and star powers. Before you buy something, just do a little bit of research. It takes like one minute and honestly buying the wrong star power or the wrong gadget severely impacts your brawler. Look, it's a video games and some abilities are just better than other abilities. 
If you're buying the wrong ones, you're wasting your time because it's going to be a lot harder to push. You're wasting your coins because it's not a very helpful piece of a brawler's kit. And you're just making the wrong decision and that's never something you want to do. Number nine, and I know this sounds a little bit weird, but not try and get better is actually something big. Brawl Stars is a really, really good game that has a lot of things to do as long as you're not me who's completed the entire game. But what you don't want to do is only play showdown or only play throwers or only play one little specific thing and then you're not able to gain trophies any other way. Because no matter what, you're always going to hit a wall if you do that strategy and you're not going to be able to gain anymore and you're not going to have any more fun with Brawl Stars if you're not gaining. Try and change it up even if you're not gaining as efficiently for a little bit. I mean, you're still getting better at the game. You're learning about the game and that's very important in the long run. And tip number 10, we have do not die with all the gems. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, Bobby, you're so smart. Don't die with all the gems. Guys, please think for a second. How many times have you played Brawl Stars and your Primo with 10 gems just jumps into their spawn or your Fang with 10 gems tries to super up? Like, it's not that difficult, but people need to hear it. If you have 10 or eight or nine or seven gems, guys, that's what you need to win the game. Do not go running down into the other team's spawn. Stay on your side, let your teammates pick up the rest of the gems and be patient and win the game. Stop dying with the gems, my randoms, please. That's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the 10 tips for new players. If you are a new player and you feel like I missed anything, or if you are a new player and you feel like this video really helped, let me know in the comments down below. That's going to be it for me today, and I'll see you guys again soon.